Hey everybody, I'm back. It's time for Facebook Friday again. I have been gone for several weeks and I have missed chatting with you guys. So hopefully you are done with your shopping today. Hopefully you have the day off and you're able to join me. I see a couple people jumping on. Uh, let me make sure I'm in the right place and then I'm gonna get started. Um, I sent my kiddos and the hubby off to grandma's house this afternoon. I said, I have a ton of things I need, uh, videos I need to do, so please take them. It's not showing up on my feed, but I see you guys. Hi, Vicki and Carrie and who else? Kathy. Hi, Laurie. So the last time I did a Facebook Live, it did not show up. I know Facebook's been really weird lately. Hi, Gina. Hi, Sandy. So hopefully I'll be able to see y'all's comments. I don't know what's going on with Facebook, but they're making it really difficult for us. Um, I can't, f oh, there we go, okay, okay, I found you guys. I had to close all my daughter's games on the iPad. She's been Fortnite playing and Minecraft playing on my iPad. Now I can see you guys. Hello, everybody, I'm so glad that you have joined me. Did you guys go shopping? Uh, my teenager, my 15-year-old, wanted to go um, Black Friday shopping last night, and I kind of was like, I already did everything online, but we went to Target, um, and I actually bought my husband a TV for Christmas. He's been wanting a TV, so that was a pretty good deal, and it wasn't very crowded in the stores at all. I think everybody's doing online shopping. We went to Joanne Fabrics this morning. That was the only place we went. My daughter makes these little bracelets, just like you remember when you were a kid, the little beads on the little elastic string? She makes those, my 15-year-old, and sells them, and she's making a killing. Just the little beaded bracelets. So they had beads on sale. We went and uh, got her some beads, um, but then that was it, and again, it wasn't crowded. So I think a lot of people are doing um, online shopping. I see some new faces that I don't normally see. You guys are off. You're getting to catch me. Good, Mary. Enjoy your Friday off. All right, so today I, boy, it's hard to for me to narrow down as we get closer to Christmas, to narrow down what I want to show you. We have so many wonderful things. Um, so I decided we needed Christmas treats. So today all three projects are Christmas treats and they all use the Signs of Santa stamp set, which is hugely popular. The framelits are sold out, but don't worry, we don't need the framelits. If you haven't gotten the stamp set yet, you can get it, it's so cute. And I'm also gonna show you some paper that you that have, might have slipped under your radar. You might not have seen it because it's a um, online only paper. So I'm gonna show you that. So we're gonna make three holiday um, treats, some Christmas treats. And um, that's I'm gonna do a lot of that between now and Christmas. We've got four weeks. Now Thanksgiving's over, it's 110% all Christmas all the time. Um, let's run through a couple of things. If you have never joined me for Facebook Friday before, of course, welcome. Thank you for joining me. I type up a PDF that looks like this. It's over on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. If you're watching in the replay, I'll add the link up at the top. Um, it looks like this and it has all three projects. It has all the products that I use, hopefully all of them. <laughs> I might have missed one or two. I usually do. Um, it has the photographs and the measurements. Today's, if you guys will look, and it's backwards, I'm sure. If you look, today we have a lot of measurements. So you're gonna definitely need this PDF. All three of the projects have a lot of measurements. The other thing is the extravaganza sale. Hopefully you got my email. Hopefully you saw my Facebook post. That is the big news in the Stamping Up world is the holiday extravaganza and you'll see it says 10% off. So basically, I hear the dogs, they know I'm talking to you, they're coming to say hello. Hopefully they won't. Um, oh, there's one. Um, holiday extravaganza is 10% off the majority of our annual catalog products. So it's not your holiday stuff, it's all the other stuff. And it's a different sale for two days, for six days, or it's divided into three sales, okay? Today is your basics, right? Today and tomorrow is paper and embellishments. 
And 10% off pretty much equals your shipping cost. When you, our shipping is $6.95 flat fee until you get to $70 and then it becomes 10%. So the best way to take advantage of this sale is to put in an order over $70. So go look through all your card stock, see what you need. Are you gonna need some real red, cherry cobbler, garden green, you know, the Christmas colors. What are you gonna need in January and February? Pick out those colors, and that's what you should order today and tomorrow. Also, it's embellishments. So you can look and see, like the cherry cobbler ribbon I'm using today, hi Joy, is not, I'm using it on Christmas projects, but it's not in the holiday catalog, it's in the annual catalog, but which means it's on sale. So that's what I encourage you guys to do. This is kind of your basics. We all need cardstock, and if you haven't ordered Whisper White, Stampin' Up's Whisper White cardstock yet, you need to. Here comes UPS. He is like on time every week. So get ready for chaos. And he's bringing me my Stampin' Up order. Yep. <laughs> Just right on cue. Um, so anyways, 10% today and tomorrow, paper and embellishments. Then the next two days after that are stamps and kits. Stamps and kits from the annual catalog. And the last two days is my favorite, tools and ink. So framelits, you guys know I use the stitch shape framelits like every single project. If you haven't gotten them, you need to get them. Lisa, great question. The Stamparatus and the Big Shot are not included in this sale. Nope. But you know what? Treat yourself. Just get it when you're getting these other things and saving 10%, right? I think you should. Um, wrap it up and put a tag on it, say it's from Santa. I've been known to do that. So anyways, I, when I flip the camera around, I'm just gonna show you real quickly. Oh, now my daughter's texting me. Don't they know that I'm busy? Um, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you the Stampin' Up! webpage so you can go and see exactly what's included, okay? Um, there are a few exclusions. Things that are low inventory products are excluded, um, but a lot of the basics, that cardstock, whisper white cardstock, envelopes, um, your whatever card, color cardstock you need for your uh, Christmas cards, um, all of that is included today, okay? All right, so there's your PDF. Now, oh, so there's that sale, but I'm adding to it like I always do, right? Here, and <laughs> I've made it a little complicated. It's not really complicated. You guys know that if you order with a host code for Facebook Friday, I send you the make and takes, right? This is a couple weeks ago. This is what it looks like. It comes to you in the mail. They come for free. $30 order, you use the host's code. <gasps> and I forgot to print out the host's code. That's all right, it's on, it's on the PDF. Okay, so that's still, if you put in an order using the host code by Monday at midnight, you get these make and takes for free. If you put in a $50 order, you're also going to get November's tutorial bundle for free, which everybody loves, right? I have it printed out somewhere. You guys, if you could see my office, it is like a bomb has gone off and I don't usually function well like that, but oh, so much stuff everywhere. Anyways, it's somewhere here. The, the tutorial bundle is awesome. You get it for free with $50. If you bump your, your order to $100, I'm gonna send you a free embellishment. Um, as soon as I close this order in a week, a week from today, I will order you an embellishment and I will mail it to you. Um, use the hostess code. Now, let's say you put all your stuff in the cart and it's over $150. Don't use that host code because then you get Stampin' Rewards. And that starts out at $150. It's a percentage based on what your total is. And 10% is at, at 150, you get 10%. So you get $15 in free product. So that's how you really should work the sale. $150, save 10% on whatever the is in today's sale. Plus you'll get $15 in Stampin' Rewards or more, depending on how high your order is. And... I'm gonna send you a, I don't know, I don't understand what I typed. I'm gonna send you a free embellishment and the free mega takes and the to November tutorial bundle. I think I still have turkey coma, tryptophan. I'm feeling a little like, what am I saying? Anyways, you guys, it's here, it's on my blog. Um, there are rewards for $30, $50, $100, and $150, okay? Take advantage of that 10%. A sale is a sale, right? 10% is better than 0%. All right, so 
that's that. We've got prizes. Would you guys like to know? I see. Look, Sonia and Lori, they've already shared the video. Thank you so much. When you share the video, you get entered in to win a prize. Last, well, it wasn't last week. It was like three weeks ago. The prize for sharing the video was the Wishing You Well stamp set, the Chicken Wire Elements, and a yard of all the ribbons from the holiday catalog. And I chose a random winner, and that is Elizabeth Merkel. Elizabeth, I don't think I have your mailing address. Please message me so I can send you your gift. Thank you, it's a thank you for sharing the video. The other way to win a prize is to go over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, scroll down to the bottom, enter your information on the little widget there, and I that will randomly draw me somebody next week. And the winner for that, still night, wire embellishment, or um, chicken wire, and the ribbon is, Shelly Jeffrey and Shelly I have your mailing address she is in my stamp club so yay congratulations this week I've got two of these super cute homemade kindness stamp sets you can be entered to win by sharing the video here on Facebook or going over to my blog and entering the raffle copter okay so those are the prizes this week all right I think I covered everything I'm gonna flip you guys around I'm gonna show you a couple of things and then we're going to stamp. I don't want to talk too long. Um, so let's see. I'm going to flip you guys around. Now you know, i give you a little warning. I have a microphone plugged into my camera, into my phone, which is on a separate <laughs> tripod that then I'm, oh there's Shelly, good, yay, that then I move over so it's a little crazy, okay? So just close your eyes for about 10 seconds. Up. hopefully don't make you too crazy and I'm gonna flip you down here where you guys that I have um, invested in to help me make this smoother transition however it's very difficult for me to get to work correctly so I'm still working on a smoother transition for you guys but that's the way it is all right let's get organized Here's the PDF, right? We talked about the PDF. You need to get the PDF. That host code, usually I have it up here for you and I forgot to print it out. It's right here. And it's also on my blog. And I'll also put it up in the description of this video after I'm done. Now let me get my grid paper straight. Let's see, about right there. I'm gonna put some tape down so that it doesn't wiggle. And then here are our three super adorable projects for today. Signs of Santa. How many of you have Signs of Santa? Do you already have it? It's so very, very cute. Now I wanna show you here when you go to the Stampin' Up! website and you scroll, this is just the Stampin' Up! store, right here, if you click on that banner, it's gonna show you everything that's 10% off today, okay? And it's a lot. This, this sale lasts until tomorrow at midnight. Look at all the ribbon. If you're a ribbon fan, time to stock up. That best route paper, we all love that. All the card stock, um, some of the cute embellishments. Here's the cherry cobbler ribbon that we're gonna use today and cherry cobbler card stock. Um, oh look, embossing powders. I didn't even realize that those were in there too. Um, you know, just some basics. All the designer series paper from the annual catalog. Just make your list. And as long as your order is over $70, it's like you're getting free shipping because that's what 10% equals. Oh, and grid paper. If you guys haven't ordered grid paper before, that's this right here. You totally should. It's awesome. I love, love, love my grid paper. All right, so you can see, oh look, the pizza boxes are on there. There is a ton of stuff. My favorite, the color packs um, of DSP, the gingham ribbon. Lots of really good things on here. So I encourage you to hop over there, scroll through, see what it is you need Santa to bring you, and just go ahead and help Santa out. This Christmas paper is on the list. This is my actually my very favorite Christmas paper, and it's in the annual catalog. This is what I used on my sweet treats class. So because it's in the annual catalog, it's on sale. Yay! So I encourage you to get that, and it's on low inventory, so get it fast. Envelopes, do yourself a favor and order those envelopes. Okay, so there we go. Check the sale out. You won't be sorry. Lots of goodies there for you. All right, I think we're ready to stamp. 
Um, I feel like I forgot to tell you something, but I don't know. And now my computer is this, doing this weird dark thing. All right, here we go. Three make and takes. And we're gonna start with this one right here, okay? So let's move these little guys out of the way. And you guys, can you guess what's in here? It's a little Debbie snack. Of course, a little Debbie snack. Yep, you know me. I like the little Debbies. These were at Target right when I walked in. Um, don't email me and ask me where to find these, okay? Promise me you're not gonna email me because guess what? I have linked on my blog over to the Little Debbie Snack Finder. You go to the Little Debbie Snack Finder, you type in your zip code and you choose, it's listed under Christmas Santa Brownies and it'll tell you all the stores in your zip code that have them, okay? Little, De Little Debbie Snack Finder, so make sure you go look. Now when I pulled these out, I thought, well that's not the real red that I thought I was gonna use. It's very cherry cobbler, so that's why I went with cherry cobbler, all right? So let's make our box. You're gonna need a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock that measures, let me look at my PDF here, measures six by six. See how many measurements we have on this? So you're definitely gonna to wanna to print that out. Six by six. Hi everybody, thanks for joining, thanks for sharing. I really appreciate it. Six by six, so it doesn't matter which side you start your scoring on. We're gonna score one side at three fourths of an inch, two and three fourths of an inch, three and a half, and five and a half. Now notice, these two right here, these two sections are three fourths of an inch. These are the box sides. This one right here, the skinny one, this is where we're gonna put our adhesive in a minute, okay? So remember that very last segment is half an inch and that's just for our adhesive. All right, turn it once and now you're gonna score it at three fourths of an inch from each end, which is three fourths of an inch and five and a fourth. All right. Now, you know, I brought my box over here, but I don't think I brought my bone folder. Oh, wait, oh, here it is. I actually have it. Look at it, it's so messy and dirty because I use it to re-ink my ink pads. I have several bone folders. This is the dirty bone folder. Yeah, it's all right. Still works. Use it to make all your lines nice and crisp. Now, remember I told you this little line right here Here's my scissors. This is where we're putting our adhesive, okay? This was the first side that we scored. We're gonna cut out these tabs right here, okay? By the way, I have already made clean recordings of these projects. They will be on YouTube sometime this weekend. So if you're coming back to watch how to make these, you will be able to find shorter clean recordings over on YouTube, okay? All right, now, Take your scissors and trim those score lines right there, just to the horizontal score line. Now you want to use your tear and tape or your fast fuse. Don't use snail, your box will come apart. Put it along that long skinny tab and if you fold this in half and fold this over, it should be a perfect match and there's your box. Now here's the rough edge, so that's gonna be the back of our box. And that means we want the front of our box, those tabs that are on the front, to be folded over last. That'll give you smooth folded edges on all four sides. So fold in the sides, fold in the back tab, put adhesive on your front tab, and fold it over last. Okay, so here's your front, and you've got these smooth folded over edges. Now, here's the top, and we're not going to adhere this down. We're gonna use a um, ribbon to hold that closed. Slide your Santa in, but fold it in the same way. Do the little ones first, the back one, and then the front one, and that'll give you that nice folded over edge there. Now, here's that ribbon I was telling you about, the double-stitched cherry cobbler ribbon. We're gonna tie it around to hold our box closed. Tie a bow at the top. This way your recipient doesn't have to tear the box to get in. It'll be open underneath the bow and they can even recycle it and give it to somebody else with something else in it if they wanted to. That way your creations go a lot further. 
All right, now this DSP, let's talk about this designer series paper. In case you're wondering, DSP stands for designer series paper. This is the Dashing Along DSP. In September, it was available only to hostess um, and it was free. But then Stampin' Up, we are just selling out of all of our amazing paper because we lo everybody's loved it so much they couldn't keep up with the demand. So they brought this paper back to help us, to give us more choices of designer series paper to use for Christmas. So this is called the Dashing Along. It's garden green and cherry cobbler. And you'll notice it has four sheets of each pattern, which if you're like me and you mass produce things, you make lots of the same thing, that is really, really helpful to have four sheets instead of just two sheets in a pack. So four sheets, and then here's the one we're using. This is my favorite pattern in the whole thing. Cherry Cobbler, see, so you have four. Just think of how many of these you could get out of this, a ton. And Little Debbie is super cheap, so these would make great. If you need to make 100 of these, you could probably get 100. Well, I don't know, you'd have to count. But you could get a lot out of this pack. Um, this paper is only online. You will only find it online. It's called Dashing Along, and it's in the designer series paper area of the store, okay? All right, so now I cut a little piece. Let's look at my cheat sheet. It's one and three-fourths by four and a fourth, and I'm gonna just put it right over that ribbon. That way it's gonna keep that ribbon exactly where it needs to be, okay? All right. We are done with the box, easy to put together. You could put a ton of those together just sitting in front of the TV one night, watching a movie, watching your Christmas movies. Have you guys watched any Christmas movies yet? We have seen three movies over the, over the Thanksgiving break. My family, we love to go to the movie theater. So we have gone three times, cost us a fortune, but anyway, it was fun. I'm gonna stamp this guy. Remember, he is from Signs of Santa. I'm gonna stamp him in Memento Black. Um, I'm gonna color him with Stampin' Blends. So when you are coloring with Stampin' Blends, which are alcohol markers, you need to use a water-based ink, which is what Memento is, okay? Now in a minute, we're gonna use a different black and I'll tell you why. But I've stamped him on Whisper White and my blends are hiding over here. Um, now I also want to mention, and I think I did at the beginning, this stamp set, originally had framelits that went with it, right? Many of you probably already ordered it. It sold like crazy. And they sold so many that they can't even get them back in stock now before the end of the catalog. So the framelits are no longer available. However, today's projects, I'm gonna show you how you don't even really need the framelits if you don't have them, okay? So don't panic. The cute, adorable little artwork, which is what we love about this, is still available. The stamps are made in-house there at Stampin' Up! But the framelits, they have to outsource to China. So it takes, you know, months, lead time to get extras. So we're not going to worry. We're going to use the images and we're going to make it work. Now I did, I colored him in with... Um, light cherry cobbler and I'm just gonna add a little bit of dark cherry cobbler under his belt and behind the brim of his hat. But I don't wanna spend too much time coloring him in because he's gonna be behind, be behind a, um, a vellum overlay. So we don't need to worry too much about it. And this is the ivory on his face. There we go. Oh, on his hands also. Then I'm just gonna take my flirty flamingo and give him a little bit of rosy cheek there. Little circles, just a little bit. Then my light smoky slate coloring in his buckle. Now that's all I'm gonna do because now we're gonna take a framelit and we're gonna cut him out just a circle, a circle framelit. Let me get my magnetic platform. Bring my big shot over. Now, you guys, it's so funny. I made these three videos earlier today so that they'll be on YouTube. And when I set my big shot down, I could not find, it was the next project, Mrs. Claus. I couldn't find her to save my life. She was, I, she was gone. And she was stuck to the bottom of my big shot. <laughs> I don't know, she didn't wanna go on that, that little treat holder. 
I guess. All right, this is the stitched circle. This is the one that I was telling you, when the tools go on sale, which I believe is Tuesday and Wednesday, these are the framelits you need to get if you haven't gotten them yet because they are my favorite. I use them almost every single project and they have the cute little stitching around them, see? All right, so we did that and this is not the smallest. It is the one up from the smallest, okay? Now, ahead of time, I cut the same circle in vellum and I'm gonna use stays on black to stamp on my vellum. Stays on is different from memento because it is not water-based, so you can't use a stays on with your blends, but it is a great ink for porous surfaces like our vellum or maybe like um, our acetate box and it will dry. However, I'm gonna speed it along with my heat tool so that I don't smear it all over the place. Kathy says those are her favorite framelits too. Yeah, I can't live without my stitch shape framelits. And in fact, I have several sets of them because when I mass produce, that way I can cut out more than just one at a time because I use them so frequently. All right, I'm just gonna take a little bit of Fast Fuse and put it right here, just right on top of Santa and put that right there. All right, there's our tag. Now we need to do one more thing. This is a one by four inch piece of galvanized metallic paper and I'm gonna punch it with my triple banner punch. I have ink all over me. That's what happens when I make videos all day. I get ink everywhere. Well, that happens to me every day, even when I'm not making videos, but <laughs> by the time I do Facebook Live, I'm covered in ink from the day. All right, so we put the galvanized metallic paper, which I am madly in love with. I love that paper. And a couple of dimensionals. And there we go. This one's from Santa. And I didn't point out that the sentiment is from Sincerely Santa. This is a stamp set designed for the tag kit, but it's a great one. Look, it's just perfect. It makes perfect tags to and from, and I used it right on top of our cute Santa. So there you go, you guys. Little Debbie, Santa brownies. Don't ask me where to get them. Just go to my blog and click on the link, and you will go to the Little Debbie Finder, Snack Finder, and you can find them in your area. All right, what do you guys think? Do you love it? It's so cute. So cute. What is it I say, Belinda? Are you here? She says there's something funny I say on, on my Facebook Lives every week. Isn't that just cute, maybe? I think that's what I say. <laughs> I'm a creature of habit. All right, now I'm switching over projects, getting my next tray. So give me just a second. Let's move these guys out of the way. Here's our next one, Mrs. Claus. This is the one that got stuck to the bottom of my big shot and I couldn't find her. Isn't she so cute? This project, let me open it and show you. It has a little pocket in there that holds, of course, the Ghirardelli chocolates, which you can find everywhere. Um, so that is what's inside. And I have to give a shout out to the swap that I got it on stage that inspired me. And my downline was asking me how to make this at our last team meeting, and I said, I have no idea, I didn't make it. So when she said that, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna pull it apart and we're gonna make it. Here's the one, I have no idea who gave this to me. There was no information on it. If it was you at on stage, please let me know so I can give you credit. Um, but it was very cute and look, these are bourbon caramels, yummy. Oh, Heather, the stitch shape framelits are excluded from the sale. Well, pooey. Well. Just like the Stamparatus, I would add those on too because they are so good. Santa, those would make a great gift from Santa. They're like $30. That's a really good gift, yeah. You guys need to get those. Okay, so here it is. I don't remember, it may have been somebody on my team, it may have been somebody else, but that's where I got the inspiration for this cute little Mrs. Claus. So let's go ahead and make it, okay? Grab your Simply Scored again and you're going to need a piece of cherry cobbler. Let me look at my notes. My blends are all over the place. A piece of cherry cobbler that is two and three fourths by seven inches. And on the long side, you're gonna score it at three, three and a half, and six and a half, okay? Now, while we have the Simply scored over here, let's do the little pocket. This is a piece of that Dashing Along DSP, and we're gonna score the long side at two and a fourth, two and a half, 
two and three fourths, and then five, whoops, five, five and a fourth, and five and three fourths. So you've made three score lines here and three score lines here. That's because we're going to do an accordion fold, okay? And it's going to make that pocket. So let's see, I think I started out the wrong way. There we go, like that. Now over here, back and forth and back and forth and fold these in. Oh goodness, come on. There we go, like that. Can you guys see how I did that? Accordion fold those. Take your tear and tape, it, because it's the perfect width, and fold it over just like that. So you've made this little pocket perfect to hold your Ghirardelli. Now you'll notice it's open at the bottom and pockets are usually closed at the bottom. That's okay, we're gonna close it. Take this piece and fold all these score lines. This bottom one folds up and you're going to pinch this down here below. We're gonna use a stapler to staple this in right here, but I want to let you know, please make sure you put your staple pretty far down. Every time I make a matchbook, I kind of forget to do this. If you put your staple up too high, this won't go in very well. So you have to put your staple down low so that that will slide down. You wanna give it as much room as you can. Hi, Janie, thank you for sharing. All right, so let's put this in as low down as we can go, pinch it, and put that staple down like that, okay? And you can see that it's a perfect fit. And this just slides right in, like a little matchbook. All right, so let's make Mrs. Claus. She's so adorable. Again, we're gonna use our Stampin' Blends. So again, we're gonna use Memento. Memento for your blends. And we're gonna color her in. I'm using Cherry Cobbler again. I need to sit, when I am coloring with my blends, I sit, so it's very hard. But when I make my videos, I stand. So it's very hard for me to color correctly. I get out of the lines very easily. I'm starting with light Cherry Cobbler and I'm just gonna color in her cute little skirt I um, am using the bullet tip, not the brush tip, just out of preference. I feel like I have better control with the bullet tip. When I'm coloring larger areas, I will use that brush tip. But I would say probably 90% of the time, I am using that bullet tip. All right, so we've colored all that. Now, I'm gonna leave that open for a minute, and I'm gonna come over here and grab my dark. And I'm gonna put a shadow here under her apron and under that line there, the little, the little tie for the apron, here under her collar. Ah, I'm getting messy. I need to sit down. All right, pretend like, I know you guys can't see it very well because it's not zoomed in. So just pretend like it's perfect. Now I'm taking that light cherry cobbler and I'm blending that darker color down into the lighter color. There we go. Oh, she's so cute. Make sure I put the light lid on the light marker. I'm gonna use the dark marker to color in that heart. And I'm also gonna come up here and dot those little, those little holly berries that are in her hair. All right, we're gonna go back with the ivory. Now you guys, I think next week, my projects are going to feature the snowmen. They're so cute. And I have found a couple of snowmen things that I'm going to make holders for. I am planning on doing another Facebook Live on Tuesday and then another one on Friday. I'm using this time Petal Pink for her cheeks. Tuesday will be on my business page, which is Pink Buckaroo Designs. And then I'm gonna color her hair with a light smoky slate. And then Friday will be right here where you're watching on my group page, Pink Buckaroo Stampers group page, okay? So be looking for me. It'll be Tuesday at two and Friday at two. I'm very excited about 
those projects. I think you'll like them. All right, so I went all over with a light smoky slate and then the dark. Also coming up, see I'm just taking the dark and just doing a few segments. Also coming up, hopefully midweek, I've got a class. My friend Rhonda Wade and I are doing a class together again. And I am featuring the first frost stamp set in the holiday catalog. So if you've been waiting to get that, now's your chance. They're not going to be holiday projects because you won't get them in time. Um, but they will be, that was by the way, old olive that I just colored those holly berries in. So be looking for that next week. And hers, oh, now I can't remember what she's doing. I don't know, but look for it Tuesday, hopefully Wednesday, and you're gonna love it. All right, now I'm taking my smallest, sharpest scissors, and I'm going old, old school. What are we doing? We are fussy cutting. We don't need the framelits. We've got scissors, you guys. Come on. Even though the framelits are sold out, those of us who didn't get them, can just fussy cut. We do it all the time with other stamps that don't have framelits. So don't tell me you can't use it. I know, we like framelits and we really like punches, but there was a time when we didn't have those. <laughs> all right, there she is. Now we gotta make her fancy. I have cut out a Whisper White Scallop Square and here it is again the stitched Whisper White Square. I'm gonna emboss it, so I need to get my regular Big Shot platform. You guys are so quiet today, thanks for sharing. Um, and I'm gonna emboss it with the Swirls and Curls embossing folder. And this one has been, they've been, I've had a hard time keeping this one in stock because it's so popular. I'm hoping it's in stock, I can't remember. But anyways, it's a good one, you need it. You need to add it to that, add it to that order. All right, we're gonna emboss it with swirls and curls. Isn't it cute? I'm gonna use the side that is more debossed. You know, it's really kind of hard to tell which is embossed and which is debossed. This one kind of goes down into it, so using the back side. And I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella and I'm gonna just color in those depressed, well, that's not, that doesn't sound good, depressed. They're not depressed. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, the, the, what's another word I could use for that? The parts that go down. It's debossed instead of embossed. I don't know what I'm talking about. You guys, I'm still on vacation in my mind. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I'm going to, this scallop square was cut with the layering square framelits, which I would hope is going to be on the tool sale. I can't keep up. I don't know. You have to look on Thursday or Wednesday and see what's on there. We have so many products. I can't, inverted, recess. Look at you guys. So smart, those are much better words than depressed. <laughs> inverted recess, that's probably the word I was looking for, Pam, you're probably right, and inverted would work well. All right, so I adhered the stitch square to the scallop square, put uh, dimensionals on the back, and we're gonna put that right there. And little Miss Claus, she's so cute. We're gonna put a dimensional on her. Now remember, we cut her out fussy cutting by leaving a little white cloud around her edge, see that? But when you put her on here with a white background, can you even tell that it's been fussy cut? You can't. So again, no excuses. This stamp set is super cute, even if you don't have the framelits. All right, now I don't like the staples, so I'm gonna take some Whisper White woven ribbon, make a little bow. This ribbon is on sale, I hope. It's in the annual catalog, and it is, you can use this ribbon with, oh no, come on. You can use this ribbon with just about anything. It's white, it's neutral. All right, and it's very affordable if I remember correctly. It's only like $6. My glue dots have run away. You guys, 
My glue dots lately, the little cardboard thing has been falling out the inside. Usually I leave it on the roll like that and I don't leave it in the box, but the, the cardboard thing has fallen out of the last three packs of my <laughs> glue dots. What is happening? I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. User error, I'm sure. All right, glue dot. Now, I just put it right on top of that staple. Now we gotta do something here, right? We need to do something. So I cut out this adorable label with these stitched labels, this one right here, from the annual catalog. So hopefully that'll be included in the sale on Wednesday when the tools are on sale. And I'm just gonna stamp the to and from in the stamp set. You know, we all need to and from stamps. I love when I have a set that has to and from, because we need that. I mean, it's very important. So I just put that there with that memento. Dinah, yours has been falling out too. They've changed something, haven't they, on those the production of those, I think, because now they keep falling out on me. I know that's a dumb thing, but I don't know. I mean, it still stays in a circle but the cardboard just falls right out. That's good to know, Dinah. Thank you for telling me. Cindy, yours too? Oh, yeah, see, I bet. Okay, I'm not, I'm losing, I'm not showing you guys what I did. So I put that on with the dimensional and we're done. Let's close it up. That is so funny, you guys. So I bet they started using something different in the manufacturing or a different, you know, um, something that's causing it to not stay in like it used to. That's funny, I'm glad to hear that. All right, what do you guys think? That's super cute, right? She's adorable. She's so cute, I love her so much, Mrs. Claus. She's my favorite stamp from that whole set, The Signs of Santa. Okay, we've got one more project. Adorbs, Joy, I love that, Adorbs. You remind me of my friend Jane. She used to always say, Adorbs. I mean, she still does. That sounds like it was in the past tense. She lives far away from me, so I don't see her very often. Okie dokie, you guys ready for one more? All right, Signs of Santa, one more this time. Well, I don't wanna use that one because the tag fell off. Here's, let's do this one. This time, we're making this little guy, and here it is, the one that the tag fell off. I just put some Dove chocolates in here, just like three or four, not a whole lot. Keep it affordable. Um, but this would be cute like as a place setting, as a little thank you gift or even like, um, I don't know, you know I'm always thinking about the teachers. So our PTA used to always do like a little Christmas dinner. So these would be cute sitting on the table for everybody to take, you know, afterwards. Aren't they so cute? Just so cute. All right, so let's make it. This one uses a ton of punches, which... Again, we'll be on sale when the tools sale starts on. I wish I knew what I did with that paper. Here it is. So I'm not telling you the wrong days. Tools, November 27th and 28th, which is, you guys, what, Wednesday and Thursday? No, Tuesday. Tu I was telling you the wrong day. Tuesday and Wednesday. Stamps, 25th and 26th. Tools and ink, 27, 20. That's when you really should like send your husband a link and be like, hey, this is what mama wants for Christmas, right here, whatever it is. You know, like fill your cart, take a screenshot and send it to him. I'm telling you, that's the only way I'm gonna get anything that I actually like from my husband. <laughs> I love my husband more than anything on this earth, but he can't, he can't do a very good job Christmas shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. So if you have a husband like mine, send him the link on those days and say, hey, buddy, here you go. This is what Santa needs to bring me. Okay, so second page, we're over here, down here. Look at all these measurements. There's a lot of measurements in here, even though this is pretty simple. We're using garden green cardstock, four and a fourth by nine and three fourths. And I wanna point something out to you. See how this side is taller than that side? It's a little bit different and it's actually wider. Um, when I originally made this, the paper was, I could only get one out of a piece of cardstock and I wanted to be able to get two of these out of a piece of cardstock. So I kind of shortened it and um, that's why you'll see, if you noticed at all, the side is a little bit shorter. Okay, so four and a fourth by nine and three fourths. We're gonna score the short side at one and an eighth. 
and three and an eighth. And if you are unfamiliar with eighths, it's the very first tick mark afterwards, okay? Right there. So each end is one and an eighth. Now turn it to the long side, and you're gonna score the long side at four and five and three fourths. Now, we're gonna add some more score lines in here, but these are gonna be short score lines that we stop at these horizontal score lines. So, you're gonna score here at three and a fourth, and you know what, we could actually make them taller. Let's do three. I'm just changing things right, right here off the bat. We'll make it an inch. So three and six and three fourths. All right, see how I stopped at that score line? Now turn it and do it again, three and six and a fourth. Actually, that doesn't help. That just makes the sides, the tabs bigger. Meh, oh well, I tried. I tried, but that's all right. <laughs> that's what happens when Erica does things on the fly. They don't work out. All right, here we go. Now we've got all these weird score lines. We're gonna cut these rectangle tabs right here. We're gonna cut them completely out. All right, completely out. Before, the paper had to be wider. So it was like, I can't remember, four and three-fourths by nine and three-fourths, which meant you could only get one out of a piece of cardstock. Um, and if you're making a bunch of these, you want to be able to make at least two out of a piece of cardstock. Otherwise, it's going to cost you more money. You'll need more cardstock. You know, if you made like 30 of them for the school or whatever, you would need two packs of cardstock. This way, with a skinnier side, you'll only need one pack. All right, now, here, see how I cut those out? We're gonna just take this and trim that line just to that horizontal score line. Janie, you're the same, huh? And you have a holiday birthday, so you get it all right there. Yeah, I know, and you know, <laughs> I mean, he is so precious and good to me, and I, but, he, it's like he doesn't even know me when he tries to go shopping, you guys. Oh, he's, he's done good sometimes. I shouldn't say all the time, but now, and we've been married 20 years, I know. I just need to send him some links of what to get me. And he does the same, and then we're both happy. This is the Scallop Tag Topper Punch. Have you guys used this? It's, I don't know, quite magical, I think, because it makes tags. I'm going to take this long side, and I'm going to punch it so that our box has a tag top. Now turn it and punch. There we go, perfect. And maybe it's not your husband, maybe it's your mom who wants to know what do you want for Christmas, your mother-in-law. Send them the links, you guys, send them the links. All right, we've, we have burnished all those. We're going to put adhesive here on all four of those corners and fold them in. This is a really easy box. I've made variations of this many times in the past. I like to use that tag topper there at the top. Um, it makes a cute box. Okay, now before we put the ribbon, you're gonna get the DSP. This is again from Dashing Along. Kathy, you don't have that punch. That is one you need. You've got to, that is like a basic. The tag, the scallop tag topper, yes. Because, you know what, look, you could just make a bunch of tags. See how this is just the shape of a tag? And then if you had that Christmas stamp set, you could just stamp all the, the um, you know, the sayings. You could put the little elf in the corner. Uh, easy. It makes really, it makes making tags very easy. All right, this is from the Dashing Along DSP. It's one and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And I'm using the, the newsprint side. All right, we're gonna put it on here. And I only did one for the front. Which side do I like better? I only did one for the front, but as I was making the other video today, I was thinking, you know, you really probably should make one for the front and the back. There we go, all right. Now we're gonna get that ribbon. Here's that ribbon again, the double stitched cherry cobbler ribbon. And you're gonna thread it through both of the tag tops fold it in half, and then take your punch and set it on there to hold that ribbon down while you take your garden green striped baker's twine 
and tie them together. This is one of those where you need like three hands. All right, get it right there. There we go. This um, twine is chunky. I like it. Um, sometimes the twine that is striped that has you know two colors running through it it's hard to tie but this one is not like that at all it's um it's thick it's thicker twine and it would be great for um wrapping gifts and adding your tags to gifts it's in the holiday catalog and it's garden green which matches this dashing along dsp all right there we go and then take your scissors and cut these at an angle. And, okay, this is taking me <laughs> longer than it should. Come on, ribbon, there you go. Okay, now let's make the tag. And once again, we're using Signs of Santa, the adorable little elf. There's two elves. Let's see, where did my stamp set go? There's two elves, I guess I left it over there on the other. Am I looking at it? Well, I was gonna show you the stamp set. Oh, it's under my score, simply scored. There's two elves. He can be looking to the left or he can be looking to the right, whichever you prefer. They, I don't think it really matters. He has his eyes closed, that guy. So maybe we want him to have his eyes open. Memento Black. Again, Cherry Cobbler, Stampin' Blends. Now, one thing I want you to look at and we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you about all the pieces that I used here, but while I'm coloring, the other option, if you don't wanna fussy cut this guy, um, is to stamp him on a Whisper White Circle. Cause you can see I actually have him popped up on a Whisper White Circle. So you could skip a step, especially if you're gonna mass produce these and just stamp him on that circle instead. So that's an option. So Cherry Cobbler, oh my goodness. I have been using blends all day and it seems to me that it's time for me to stop because I'm coloring out of the lines horribly. I'm gonna do the dark Cherry Cobbler there and right under his chin, which probably is too small of a spot, but we'll create a little bit of shadow blending it in. If you are in my Stamp and Blends Club, your video tutorial is coming out this afternoon, along with your make and take kits that are shipping out in the morning. They are ready to go. And they are so, so cute. We used So Santa. I think I'm coloring him in with the wrong color. This is the petal pink, but I like it. It works well too. So if you're in my Stampin' Blends Club, be looking for that email this afternoon. All right, let's give him some little flirty flamingo pink cheeks. And then, of course, a little bit of Wink of Stella, some more glitter there on his hat. And he's ready to fussy cut. So if you guys have a wish list for Christmas, what is on it? What are the things you want the most? Don't forget to share it with your husband. If you're local, if you're in the San Antonio area, I also will gift wrap, gift wrap for husbands. I always offer to do that. If I have a husband who calls me and says, my wife wants uh, the big Joe, the big something, and I say the big shot, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I'll order it. I will place Santa or Santa's elves, elf, and I will wrap it and deliver it. So that's always something you can mention, but that's only locally if you're in the San Antonio area. All right, so I cut him out just like Mrs. Claus. Let's layer him up. Let me tell you about all the punches that we punched. First, I did the Cherry Cobbler Starburst Punch. These are hopefully going to be on sale when our tools go on sale. I don't know, you guys. And then um, the two inch circle, this is the DSP two inch circle, which here it is right here, two inch circle. You know, if you're not familiar with our punches, they will fold flat. They have this little lock here that you, I mount mine on a 
on a rail on my wall like this, but some people like to um, close it and, and put them on a shelf like that. So they fold flat, which is nice. All right, so the two inch circle DSP goes on the Cherry Cobbler Starburst. Then this one is one of my favorite punches, the Pretty Label Punch. And I punched that out of Crumb Cake cardstock and I'm gonna put that in the center with a dimensional. And then, guess what? A stitched circle, another one, and it's the smallest one, okay? So I'm gonna put that there. And then our elf. Oh my goodness, somebody's coming to my house. It's a U-Haul truck. What? What? Do not disturb, I'm busy. Oh, they're making some kind of delivery. Oh, it's an Amazon delivery in a U-Haul truck. Now that's something I haven't seen before. Okay, let's finish. One more stamp. We need to make a little sign. Charlie, go outside, Charlie. Oh, you know what? I don't want to do this in Memento. Charlie, Charlie, go outside. All right, we're going to stamp it in early espresso right here on crumb cake. And we're going to stamp the North Pole sign in Cherry Cobbler like that. I guess that's how the post office is, you know, getting all those packages that we're going to all order with the post postal service using a U-Haul. All right, now this is a chalk marker, and unfortunately my chalk marker is practically dry. I need to order a new one. But it is going to turn that little snow on top of the sign white. There we go. Thanks, Sandy, for sharing. Now, again, if you don't have the framelits, no problem. Just fussy cut it out. I apologize if your dog is barking because he's, here's my dog. <sighs> Schnauzers, I tell you, they're so yappy. Now for his sign, I pulled this out of my cabinet. Guys, bamboo forks, I have no idea where these are from. Probably Target. And I was looking for a toothpick, but I grabbed these. So a toothpick would be just fine. I don't I don't even know. I don't even know why I had these. But I thought it was kind of cool. It was the first thing I found. So now I'm just going to take some early espresso ink and kind of darken it a little bit with a sponge. And if you have some old scissors, you can cut that in half or you can just break it like I did. Get your glue dots. Uh-oh. Come on, Mr. Glue Dot. There we go. Did it get on there? Yep. And slide it behind like that. So it's like he's got a little sign. Now, it says North Pole. However, I was thinking, you know, like I mentioned, if you were doing these for teacher treats, you could put their name, you know, like Mrs. James or... Uh, Mrs. Smith or whoever. Isn't he so cute? We don't need no stinking framelits. We can do it just fine without them. Although, if you have them, use them. <laughs> we love framelits, but we're going to make lemonade out of lemons, right? And there we go with dimensionals. All right, and I did tell you what I had in there, right? These Dove chocolates. Which, by the way, these are dark chocolates left over from my retreat, and I don't like dark chocolate. But I've been eating these. What's wrong with me, you guys? I can't, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. Ridiculous, no self-control. All right, you guys, there we go. Let's review, let's look at our projects. I have given you three different ways to use the, oh, thanks for all the hearts. Three different ways to use the sign of Santa, signs of Santa stamp set without the framelits as well as that beautiful Dashing Along DSP. Now, this sale, remember, it, it applies to the annual catalog. Scroll through, see what's there. They've made it very easy, so you can just pull all the sale items up. Today and tomorrow are, let me look at my cheat sheet so I don't tell you the wrong thing. Today and tomorrow are paper and embellishments, 10% off. And my suggestion is get your order to $70. That way it's like it's free shipping. We would all love free shipping, right? So basically that's what 10% is. The next two days, which would be Sunday and Monday, are stamps and kits from the annual catalog. And then the last two days, Tuesday and Wednesday, tools and ink. 
See, it says not including the Big Shot or Stamparatus. But how many of these framelits would you like to have? Or punches? We use lots of punches today. So make sure you check it out. Make sure you join my email list. I'll be sending out emails this week to remind you of what's on sale. Also, go over and get your PDF with all the measurements. And make sure... If you want these make and takes, you use the hostess code by Monday at midnight, okay? All right, you guys, let me know if you have questions. Thanks so much for joining me today on our holiday. I hope you are relaxing, and I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. And now it's time for the mad Christmas rush. Hopefully, these three projects will help. You guys have a great weekend, and I will talk to you next Friday. Actually, Tuesday. I'll see you Tuesday at 2. Bye, guys.